Welcome to Tajikistan, a land of unparalleled natural beauty, home to the Pamir Mountains. Nestled in the heart of Central Asia, this country invites you on a journey of exploration and discovery. Join us as we unveil the wonders of Tajikistan. Our adventure begins in Dushanbe, where the rich tapestry of Tajik culture unfolds. Explore the vibrant bazaars where the aroma of spices fill the air, and the colorful display of fruit and local produce enchant your senses. Spend some time exploring the many local monuments to get a sense of modern Tajik society and infrastructure. Alright guys, so this is our first lunch for the expedition and today we will be having this dish, this national dish called Kurutop. It's a big bowl. Yes, All right. it's big. Now let's see how it tastes. Mm. Mm. It's juicy, it's a little bit lukewarm and very flavorful. I like it. Our next adventure takes us to the Fan Mountains, a paradise for nature enthusiasts. Drive along the mountain paths and witness the deep valleys and surreal mountain ranges. Discover the serenity of the high altitude lakes such as Iskander Kul, its shimmering waters reflecting the surrounding peaks, and the myriad of stars fill the night sky. Stay a while and stargaze, you might just see a shooting star. Next, we venture southeast into the Pamir Mountains along the famed Pamir Highway. Alright guys, we're close to sunset at about 6pm and we are here right now just bordering Afghanistan. As you can see the signboard is real big, it says one way. Uh, road to what's a stun. Okay, I don't exactly know what this is saying, but anyways, that is the way to Afghanistan and uh, this river over here that's flowing it is what separates between Tajikistan and Afghanistan. So pre-COVID, um, if anyone is in Tajikistan, they want to cross over to Afghanistan, it's very simple. You just have to provide a valid tourist visa and you can just drive over to the link bridge over there and you can just simply cross over to Afghanistan. But however, right now, because of the Taliban issues uh, in Afghanistan, it is impossible to cross over as easily as before. Borders have been closed. Traveling along the border of Afghanistan, we catch our very first glimpse of the Afghan people and their way of life. These hardy people are known for their adaptability, resilience, and toughness. Welcome to the town of Korog. So, this is the vantage point overlooking the city. Small little town, not too big, wedged between the mountains. It does snow quite often, but right now it's pretty hot. I got the traditional Pamirian hat on me from the local bazaar that I just picked up earlier. We're going to be heading off to a lake at another small village. Let's go. Currently at Barsin Lake, this is a lake that was formed because of an avalanche. The avalanche created this lake by making a dam. And it flooded a village which sits at the bottom of the lake. Leaving the comfort of the town, we head further east towards Wakhan Valley. First stop is to freshen up at a local natural hot spring. Hot water, warmed by geothermal activity below the surface, gushes out and forms a natural pool. Bathing often becomes a social and integral part of Tajik communities. As the landscape opens up, this is where we encounter our very first Tajik shepherds. These nomadic herders are often found in places where the greenery is lush and plentiful for the livestock to graze and flourish. Currently, we are at the Wakhan Corridor. We're right across the border from Afghanistan. Right now, we're currently at a village. The villagers have a lot of um, attire from both the locals here and also the Afghan clothing um, that we have over here as well. So right now, I'm gonna ditch away all my city clothes and I'm gonna transform into a local. Let's go. Yeah, I woke up. Yeah, it's another day. We 
we start the ascent into Kargush Pass, with an elevation of 4,344 meters above sea level. While the roads are unforgivingly narrow and challenging, it rewards travelers with jaw-dropping views. Alright guys, we're currently at 4,655 meters above sea level at the... What pass? Akbaital Pass. Akbaital Pass. Akbaital Pass. Highest point. Highest point of the Pamir Highway. And anyone who visits the Pamir Highway has to come to this place because it's the most scenic, most iconic place of the Pamir Highway. So yes, let's go! Okay, holy shit, this is way too much. We're at the highest peak right now. Not sure what the elevation is, I'll put it up here. It's really cold. I'm getting attacked by the wind. We're gonna call it quits, guys. I'm gonna head back down. A 45 minute drive from the town of Alichur, we reach this nomadic encampment. Today, we're going yak riding. The nomads here offer tourists with yak riding experiences and also yak cream tastings. So over here we have uh, yak yogurt. So they basically take the yak milk and then they ferment it. So yes, let's uh, give it a try. Oh wow, it tastes like normal green yogurt, but uh, a little wild, a little wild element to it. It's nice. Ending off our trip, we drive back towards the Shambay, where we encounter furry friends along the way back. Walking among the shepherds and a giant herd of goats and sheep was extremely fun and such a cool experience. Whether you seek adventure, tranquility or cultural immersion, this remarkable country has it all. Discover the wonders of Tajikistan and create memories that will last a lifetime. <laughs>